Let's switch gears to the bullpen. The Mets bullpen has been brutal to say the least. It was once a uh, strength and now it's kind of become a source of stress. The team has blown eight saves since May 1st. Many more close calls in the ninth inning started with Edwin Diaz blowing multiple saves ended up on the injured list. Reed Garrett's ERA has gone from a 0.72 to a 3.19 in his last seven appearances. Adam Onovino's ERA approaching six after allowing nine earned runs in his last six appearances. Who do you think is this team's best option for the ninth inning with Diaz on the IL? I still say it's, it's, it's Ottavino and, um, you can sprinkle in Garrett, um, have them share the duties. Um, I mean, what really hurt this bullpen was Rayleigh going down. I mm-hmm. mean, he was a quality left-hander and that really hurt the bullpen. And then also, of course, it was compounded with Diaz just not uh, getting it done. Uh, and when he was in there, he was blowing saves. Uh, so, which added to all these demoralizing late inning losses with leads. Um, I love Danielle, uh, uh, so far, uh, he has, uh, got a good arm. Um, I'm talking about is it Nunez, right. And that uh, he throws good, but I'm not going to put him in a pressurized situation. I like whether in the middle of the game, seventh, and he's really bumped up to the seventh inning and he's throwing strikes. Um, it's, it's a, it's funny that when you, have a, a bullpen set up and then you have a closer that you're counting on and then there's in Diaz's case where he just collapsed basically and then the seventh and eighth inning guys move up an inning and then you find out if they like it or not and uh, and you know I think when that uh it just we found out that there were some difficulties Ottavino is not a young man. Uh, he has a tough time pitching two days in a row. He's a mystery to me because I like him. And I, to me, he's the guy I'm going to go to because he's a veteran. He's closed before. And I'm going to win or lose with him. When you think about the Edwin Diaz situation, do you think when he comes back from the IL, he can get back to the form he was in? Do you think it's more of a physical thing or do you think it's more of a mental thing at this point? I think it's more mental. I think that... Uh, he showed a little mental fragility and all athletes are human beings. You know, some mm-hmm. guys have, uh, I think that uh, Diaz has shown some fragility and I think it's more mental. I've talked to some pitchers because I don't know mechanics of pitching. And um, so I talked to Ronnie, I uh, talked to the guys around the league that are in the booth now. Uh, Jeff Nelson, when I was in Miami, said he's rushing his motion. And that is Whenever you're going bad, everything speeds up. Yeah. You want to overthrow, and and then and, and hitting, you want to. You're too quick, instead of everything slowing down, and it didn't just builds up. It's it snowballs, and then pretty soon you got an avalanche, and you're in big trouble. When he comes back, we'll find out. I don't know uh, how he's going to be. I, he's hurt. Okay, fine, he can rest his arm, but still, he's going to have to get out there and and and, and close games.